Okay, so next let's turn to page 30 and talk about types of feedback. And so in coaching, it's very important to be able to give feedback to, to our clients. In fact, feedback needs to be relevant to the topic that's being discussed. And it's also important to give feedback soon after the event. If you wait too long to give feedback, then it loses its effectiveness. It's just like a puppy. If a puppy wees on the carpet and you take it there to smell its wee and tell it off and you do that within five minutes or so, then the puppy gets it. But if you do it a week later, the puppy's not going to remember or know that it was its own wee that you know, you're telling it not to do so. So doing feedback, it's quite useful to do it sooner rather than later. It's important though as well to remember that feedback is not to be confused with complimenting or telling somebody off or congratulating them. Our clients expect feedback and you know it's our job as a coach to be able to give effective key feedback to the client. However, it's not about complimenting and you know and giving somebody uh, congratulations. We don't want our client to feel that they've got to work for our praise because it's that's not what it's about okay that's not what feedback is about so when we give feedback to the client make sure that it's non-judgmental make sure that it's not giving advice and it's not telling the client what to do so when we give feedback be specific be direct be sincere tell the truth uh, be unemotional and matter of fact, still being nice. So not matter of fact, unemotional and, and being rude. Um, you know, that's of course never something we want to do. We want to state what you observed. So give details of the performance. So it's not just good enough to say you did a good job. Rather say something like, you know, well done on getting the job out on the due date. I know that you had some critical problems, but you used your initiative and sorted out the problem on time. And also communicate the value of what was done. So explain the consequences and the results or the difference that the action has actually made or what impact it might have had. Give feedback within context. Keep to one topic. It's not the time for a general discussion. Using effective feedback can help to create awareness for the client. The feedback that needs to be it needs to be neutral, needs to be objective, without judgment and without opinion. You can also use feedback to mirror back to the client what they said and ask them to elaborate more or check your understanding. So an example could be by asking the client to share what you're hearing from them and so can you share that with them and just check that you've got the right understanding. Alternatively, another way that you can use it is sharing to the client what you are hearing and that creates an awareness within them and they could say, well, actually, no, that's not really what I meant. You know, what I meant was this. Or they might say, wow, that's interesting. I didn't actually realize that's the way that I was saying that. So feedback can be useful in a number of ways. So one way that you can do feedback is using the feedback sandwich. And so we're going to do that hopefully as soon as possible. So if we could do it within five minutes of, of needing to give the feedback. Tell the client what was right. Then what needs to be improved upon. Then overall what was right. So starting with what was right. What that it does is it helps to build rapport with the client and and also potentially helps to soften the feedback that's coming so what needs to be improved upon so that the client doesn't take it personally then we give what needs to be improved upon and then again overall what was right so again leaving the client with a sense of you know what you have done well you have achieved these are some of the things that you can improve upon but overall you did great and that also leaves the client then with the motivation to want to move forward and, and do better. One important thing there to focus on as well is to 
as you give feedback, make sure that your feedback is focusing on changing the behavior and not criticizing the person. Because if your feedback is aimed at the identity or at the person rather than the behavior, then it can be taken up personally and it can upset the person. Then they're not in the best state to actually take on the, the feedback or to learn what they need to learn. And in fact, you know, they might even dig their heels in, get their back up against the wall and totally defeat defeat the whole objective of giving the feedback. So that's feedback. It's an example of how to give feedback. It's uh, an example of how we do feedback from an NLP point of view. And of course, the feedback that you're going to give is going to be dependent on the situation that you find yourself in. I think there's some core ideas that are really important that when you give the feedback, some things that we should be sticking to.